Kian, this is live from Dantata Bridge in Abuja, the federal capital territory. We have said that we are going to lock down this place. I said it in the morning. You guys thought I was joking. I was going to jo join. Here I am. Today be my birthday. I'm so happy to be here. This is the best day, best birthday party I've ever had. And honestly, I'm catching my groove. The party is here to start. It's not only Lekki alone. No. Yes. This is the best place to block in Abuja. Dantata Bridge. If you are coming from Galadimawa, we block you. Area 1, Central Area. Jabi Airport Road. Coming from airport, we block you. Those people traveling by air, many of them have missed their flight. It's a, be it's a beautiful scene. We are enjoying it. Let them come and kill the whole youth. Nigeria will have to be better. At all costs, whatever it takes. Let them feel the heat. They never believe Abuja can be blocked like this. It's happening live. Youth are tired. They never believe this can happen. We had people who cooking with drone here and streaming it live. Yes. In every revolution, in every struggle for freedom, the truth remains this. Ministers, priests are always in the forefront. Let's go back to South Africa. We have somebody like Bishop, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who stood to fight alongside with Mandela. And back in America, we have Martin Luther King, who is also a priest. Back there in America, we have Reverend Jesse Jackson, who is also a priest. So I see no reason why our Vietnam priest find it very difficult to sit back at home, you know, waiting for Biafra to come. And I want to make it clear to them, Biafra will come, but it will be a shame because God has committed the, the, the nation of Biafra into the hands of ministers to bring it out. But whether they sit back at home waiting for Biafra to come, God will bring it. There is a statement, you know, uh, Mordecai told Esther, he said, maybe for this purpose, that God bring you into the palace. So, for this purpose, God choose these ministers to fight and stand against injustice. And whereby they refuse to stand against injustice, melted on their people. God will raise, God will raise stones that will fight. But it will be a shame that I have decided I will not, you know, be shamed. I will be alive. I'm alive. And why stones rise to fight for me? I better fight for my freedom. If it means my blood being split for this freedom to be, I'd rather die than to live a slave in this country called Nigeria. I can never, I can never, I can never, I want to repeat, I can never remain an Nigerian. Let me say something, please. In some of my journeys, do you know when you get to some borders? You find it difficult to say you are a Nigerian because once you say you are a Nigerian, you will be such like a criminal. Yes. Like a criminal. But to my greatest surprise, a Ghanaian will come and I'm a Ghanaian to just walk past. All West Africa, all African countries will come and walk past. But then you say you are a Nigerian, sorry for your land. You will be treated as a criminal. I want to say it. I can never be identified as a criminal. God bless you. Thank you very much.